Today we're going to talk about vintage guns that can fetch a fortune if you happen to find one in your grandpa's stash. While many people can recognize a vintage car, vintage guns might slip past your eyes, and it'd be a real shame if you do not know their value. With that in mind, I have here a list of 10 rare and expensive guns, no particular order. Luger 9mm Although this gun is associated with a political faction whose name demonetized many videos on the platform, you have to give them credit for their fine engineering. The Luger is one such example other than the Panther and the Tiger tanks. And did you know that the Luger is the gun that kickstarted the whole 9mm line today? There are many versions of the Luger, but if you manage to find one that doesn't say Ruger 22, then you have just found gold. Walker Colt This revolver is one massive beast. Its cylinder can hold so much powder that its owners often load too much of it and it turns into a ticking time bomb. But their size and power were exactly they are rare and expensive. If you're lucky enough to dig up this mammoth, your payout usually is in the six figures. Rockola's M1 Carbine During the Second World War, there were so many carnage going on that even the United States believed that they did not have enough firearms. They needed a ton, and they needed them fast. So the Department of War put out bids for pre-designed firearms. A number of companies won the bids, and they went on to make some rare guns. To give you an idea, it'd be like having Google manufacture bayonets nowadays. That's to say that there are plenty of rare variants around. But if you can get one from Rock Oka, you can get a few thousand dollars from it. Winchester Model 73 There's not much to say about the Winchester Model 73, other than the fact that $50,000 would seem cheap for a decent model to a gun collector. It's a gun that won the West, and you know you have a genuine one when you have a walnut stuck with an oil finish and classic blued steel crescent butt plate and a 20-inch round barrel. Union Switch and Signal 1911 Continuing on with bizarre companies making firearms in America, we have the famous 1911 from the not-so-famous Union Switch and Signal, which is a railroad signaling company. They made about 50,000 pistols in the Second World War, and each one of them goes from anywhere between 5000 to $20,000. The M1 Garand. Here we have the usual M1 Garand, the symbol of the United States. Manufactured by Winchester and Springfield Armory at the start of the Second World War, many Garands had gone through a lot. Many were put in and out of services, had their parts swapped, and were brought all over the world. Over 5 million of these were made by at least half a dozen manufacturers. In other words, the M1 Garand is not rare per se. However, if you manage to find one that comes with original parts, Karakote barrel, and Tapco stock, then you have a real treasure on your hands. Remington Rand 1911A1 Now this company has nothing to do with Remington Arms, and we all know and love. This is a typewriter company. A funny story, they actually bought the 1911A tooling from Singer, and Remington Rand churned out almost a million 1911 pistols. All of them are high quality as well, and they go for a grand at least. Colt Revolvers Any Colt Revolvers named after a snake will do just fine here. That includes the King Cobra, Cobra, Python, Diamondback, Anaconda, etc. If the grip has a rampant horse and the gun is named after a snake, you should get around $5,000 at least. But if it's the Garter Snake or the Blue Racer, Singers 1991A1. You might not be familiar with the name, and no one can fault you for that. Singer is a company that manufactured sewing machines. You know those ones that your grandmother used to patch up your clothes? Yeah, that company. They also made guns, but only a few hundred of them, and that was before Pearl Harbor happened. To be precise, they made about 500 pistols, but all of them were high quality. That and the fact that they're rare means that this gun from Singer can get you at least a quarter of a million if you somehow have it. But if you do, I'll still consider buying some lottery tickets because you're just that lucky. Maybe you'll make more than just a quarter of a million. Lee Matt Revolver Revolver was underrated from the outside. It looks like your basic mid-1800 six-shooter gun, but it can actually hold eight or even nine shots in the cylinder. That little tube under the gun barrel housed a 20-gauge shotgun as well. It was a formidable revolver that will get you at least $20,000 if you happen to find one. And then your mileage may vary. There you have it, folks. These are the top 10 rarest guns on the planet, in my opinion. Of course, I understand that I've not covered everything, but we would be here all day if we have to look at every old gun ever made. Still, if you know of an exotic gun that you think should make the list, let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your opinions. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when a new episode comes out. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.